So hello everybody, my name is Uwe Platzbecker from the University Hospital Leipzig in Germany. And I will just briefly comment on should the telomerase inhibitor imetastat become standard of care in transfusion dependent low risk MDS patients? Um, the answer is, I think we don't know, but um, the current data and the were actually presented at this ASH meeting uh, show a considerable high activity of this single agent uh, telomerase inhibitor in patients with being heavily transfusion dependent and also EPO or ESA uh, refractory. So out of those 38 patients reported, more than 40% actually achieved a transfusion independence. And uh, also very intriguing um, were the, the data with regards to the duration of response. So approximately 30% of the patients were still transfusion independent after one year of starting treatment. Um, the toxicity was um, mostly uh, hematological in nature and could be well managed in the majority of the patients. So from this uh, data, I think we can say that the drug is pretty appealing as a second line treatment and the randomized phase three study is underway at the moment and hopefully uh, this study will lead um, to the registration uh, of uh, this agent as a second line treatment, maybe in all comers um, of low risk MDS patients failing uh, or being refractory to ESA treatment. 